Hmm. Looks like this district has been more modernized than the antique shop district. Ride, but I am glad to see you, Kate Walker. Oscar, oh, I've missed you so much. I say, this display of emotion is most unreasonable, Kate Walker. I do hope you don't plan such profusion every time I change bodies. It's just that I've been worrying about you. Where were you, Oscar? Well, the mechanical instinct of my host took me for a ride, all across town. It took me the whole night to tame it, and that's when I bumped into those little rascals. Yeah, lucky I was in the area, huh? Quite. So, Kate Walker, what has happened since we parted at the Balaton River? Maybe we should just sit down for a second, Oscar. This, this might take a while. And that's when Demoiselle Lenny gave me the address of the Music Academy in this neighborhood. I see, Kate Walker. You must think I'm crazy, huh? Running after that girl, Dana, who must have died ages ago. Well, Kate Walker, you know I have difficulty understanding illogical thought patterns. But in the end, what I do understand is that you need to find her. Is that correct, Kate Walker? Yes. That is correct, Oscar. I'm glad you're taking it so well. I don't see any fundamental difference between crossing Europe in search of mammoths 
travelling on ostriches in an irradiated zone, or following your double. These are not things an automaton such as I take into consideration. Any other thoughts, Oscar? Well, I guess I could ask you where we are heading, but truth be told, it doesn't really matter. I will follow you wherever you lead, and for as long as you require my services, Kate Walker. That's what an automaton does. Thank you, Oscar. Oh dear, I hope you're not going to become physical, are you? No, I was just going to give you a pat on the back. I would rather you refrain from having such thoughts. I am not a dog, you know. Whatever next. Anyway, we'd better get going, Oscar. And you'd better keep out of sight. <sighs> oh dear, I don't suppose I have any choice. your research going, Kate Walker? Is it really necessary for me to be shut up in here, Kate Walker? Sorry, Oscar, but I don't want to run the risk of losing you again. Victims of the genocide committed by the fascists during the Second World War. Oh, so many deaths. I hope Dana made it through. Looks like they've tried to blend all these new shops into the original facades. <laughs> Doesn't make it any less a tourist trap, though. That brand was everywhere in New York when I left. And now they've even got branches here. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, Fräulein. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about the Wagen Music Academy? It's the large building across the square there. It used to be quite renowned worldwide, actually. But not anymore? Well, from what I gather, hardly anyone studies there nowadays. I wouldn't be surprised if it were closed. Well, what happened? Budget cuts from the town council, I guess. The academy can't be very lucrative. I see. How come 
the square is so well known? Because of the mechanical orchestra there. It used to be quite the attraction. Every year, the Academy's best student would play along with it, as did renowned musicians from around the world. Oh, that sounds intriguing. Is it scheduled to play today? I'm afraid not. Several years back, the town council discussed computerizing it. But the plan never went through, and no one has ever heard its music since. There are a lot of tourists on the square. Indeed. It attracts thousands of customers every year. A veritable boon for us retail shops. And for the people of the town, too? I wouldn't know about that. I live on the outskirts, as do most of the people. What with the rents being as high as they are here, you know? Thank you. I, I should go now. Auf Wiedersehen, Fräulein. Come back again. An automaton musician. Looks exactly like Hans's style. Like at Bahogstadt. Wow. Pity I don't have time for some sightseeing. Strange. I only know Dana as a waitress at the refuge, and yet everything seems to fit with her here. Not hard to imagine her coming here to the Music Academy to study. And who knows, maybe Leon waited for her outside one day as a surprise after returning from his Baltayar expedition.
All these letters. They look like letters of formal notice. They probably haven't been paying the bills for some time. So that's the famous Vaughan Music Academy? It's not what I was expecting. Hmm. It looks like the rector is desperate to reduce the costs of running the academy. Guten Tag! What now? If you're from the council, you can come back when I'm not so busy. Sorry, you startled me. So, now what do you want, council minion? I'm not from the council. I'm, I'm just a visitor here. I came because I was hoping to look at the file of a student from the 1930s. Oh. I'm... I'm sorry. I, uh... It's just that I haven't time for digging up old files from 70 years ago. I have way too much to do here, you understand. I can tell you're a little overwhelmed. Where's the rest of the staff? Or, or maybe a student could show me. You are standing in front of the rector and the only employee of this academy. My name is Maximilian Mahler, and it falls upon me to manage everything on the premises. The maintenance, the archiving, and the lot before we close next month. So, if you don't mind... I'm very sorry to hear that the Academy is closing, and I can see you're extremely busy, but I've come such a long way to see it. I'd be so grateful if you could locate it. It's really important to me. And so is this place important to me, too. And I would love to hear the mechanical orchestra Play one last time before the Academy closes. But, alas, I can't, can I? Uh, unless, uh... Unless what? Well, um, you know. All right, then. So if I get the mechanical orchestra going, you'll get me that file, right? Oh, uh, of course, Fraulein. Of course. Okay, I'll give it a try. Believe it or not, I have seen mechanisms like the one on the square before. Well, in that case, I promise to give you the file in return for your services. <laughs> Thanks. But I must warn you that the square has undergone some transformations over the years, and some parts of the mechanism may be difficult to get to. Don't worry, I'll make myself thin and slide between the cracks. You'll find some of them scattered around the square, and some of the others you'll find in the clock tower. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second. What are you... Now, uh, what is the name of that student you're interested in? Rose. Dana Rose. And what were the years she attended our illustrious academy? In the 30s. 1937, to be precise. Oh. And here it is. And here you will find the annual inspection reports of the mechanisms by Frau Beckman. Frau Beckman? She was the rectoress of the academy during the years you spoke of. These are from 1937. <laughs> you see, I have a marvellous memory regarding archives. <laughs> this is why I have chosen Frau Beckman's, because there's something in here regarding that Edna Droz you spoke of. Dana. Dana Rose. Uh, quite. You will also find some sheet music with annotations. This is the Hymn of Bargain, which you must play on the piano on the square in order to activate the Orchestra of Automations. Once you have fixed the mechanisms, of course. <laughs> All right then, here you go. What are you waiting for?
This sheet music corresponds to the piano part for the hymn of Wagen. Someone's added annotations. They could help me play the hymn on the piano on the square, like the rector asked me to. Hmm. I wonder what it's supposed to represent. The report that the rectoress of the academy filled in with the help of Dana back in the 30s. According to the present rector, I should find all the information I need to repair the mechanisms on the square. Music Academy Inspection Report, October 12, 1937. Today, I was due to inspect the musical mechanisms that enable students to give a public display of their talent and enable us to showcase the quality of our teaching to the people of our beautiful town. Like every year, I needed a volunteer from our students to help me during the inspection. And this year's choice was obvious. I'm fine, really. Well, you're looking off color, darling, and on edge. No, it's just that... It's just that I haven't heard from Leon since he left with the Origin Expedition from Cantar. And also, I... Well, we've got company. You'll tell me later, Dana, darling. Meantime, be good and stay safe. You too, Junta. Is everything all right? You look under the weather. We don't want one of our best and brightest to fall ill now, do we? I... I'm just a little worried, that's all. About my... about a friend who has left on a long voyage. And who was that lady? Um, just a friend. I met this summer. You do keep some surprising company, Fräulein Rose. Anyway, I have something for you that will take your mind off things. Oh? Huh? Would it interest you to see the mechanisms that enabled you to perform so brilliantly here last spring? That would be wonderful. Good. Come and join me at the kiosk when you have a moment. But don't be too long, though. 